Good evening, everybody. The sunshine is taking control again after yesterday's southerly interloper, but it nailed Taupo down to two degrees last night. Now a new high-pressure balloon is rolling out the beach weather once again, but not for that long. Stay tuned for details. Right now, it's six o'clock. This is One News with Simon Dallow and Wendy Petrie. Tonight, finally forced out. It's okay. Is this all right? Is everybody happy with this? Unhappy campers occupy protesters vow to battle on after police move in to evict them. A small plane crashes near a residential area, killing two people. We hear from eyewitnesses. The alleged Mr Big of a global internet piracy ring applies for bail as some question why he was allowed here in the first place. And why the Canterbury Quakes are now hitting insurance policy holders across the country. Kia ora, good evening. A standoff continues tonight between Occupy Auckland protesters and the authorities. The activists are refusing to leave after security guards and police finally moved to evict them from several sites. Ugly scenes erupted as police arrested three defiant protesters. Donna Marie Lev has been across developments. She joins us now live from Altair Square with the latest. Donna Marie. Good evening. Well, it's still very much a developing situation down here tonight. We had been warned that insurance premiums would rise after the Canterbury earthquakes and policyholders are starting to find out the increases are hefty. The owner of a Christchurch building which partially collapsed, killing four people in February's quake, has come under fire for not doing enough to strengthen it after the September quake. Still to come on One News, Australia's $48 million gamble on pokey machines. The plan to trial new technology which limits how much punters can spend. So will New Zealand follow suit? She survived an assassination attempt. Now US politician Gabby Gifford is leaving Congress to focus on her health and the low-budget silent movie making a big noise in the world of cinema. Then at seven, close-up confronts the men putting our children at risk online. Do be warned, the story is of an adult and sexual nature and may not be suitable for everyone. Welcome back. The Australian government is to spend $48 million trialling technology that limits the amount gamblers can spend on pokey machines. Wednesday marks the 139th year since the birth of Ratana Church founder Tahu Potiki Wedemu Ratana. Well, Andrew joins us now with sport in a major shock at the Australian Open, Andrew. Yes, Wendy, and this result has thrown the women's draw even more wide open. We'll have more on this massive upset for you next. The Australian Tennis Open has launched into its second week with searing heat and yet more drama on the court. I don't, that wasn't too bad a rendition, actually. Bad. Yeah, I would have been pleased no. with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for us. He hits the high notes. Thank yeah, you very much, forward. Andrew. After the break, the sunshine's back, says Jim. He's back with the latest on the weather. Is there any excuse for middle-aged men trying to meet underage girls for sex? Of course there isn't, but wait till you see them try and come up with one. Coming up in just a few minutes, the close-up investigation that catches out men in this country preying on our young girls in our homes. It's a lesson for our kids, it's a lesson for parents, and a harsh one for the predators. Close-ups here next, TV1. Much appreciated. That is One News this Monday. Now, here's close-up from the One News team, though. Good night. Good night.